Let's talk about the graphs of logarithms. So let's look at the graph of f of x equals log base b of x. Okay. So you can put parentheses here around the x if you want, or you can not put it. It's optional. So we're looking at the case when b is bigger than 1. So they all pretty much look the same. You have the y-axis and the x-axis, so x and y. And they all have vertical asymptotes. So the vertical asymptote is this dotted line, x equals 0. It's invisible, and the graph never crosses it. And log base b of x always passes through 1 like this, and it always looks like this. So that's the graph of log base b of x. So what does the base do? Well, the bigger the base, the flatter it becomes. So I'll draw it over here again. Say we have that vertical asymptote. And I'll draw various ones so you see. So like this might be one log function. And then another log function might be this one. So this one here has a bigger base, bigger base. So the bigger the b, the flatter and flatter it gets, right? It just keeps getting flatter and flatter and flatter. Okay, but they all have roughly the same general shape as long as the base is bigger than 1. Okay, let's do some simple examples of graphing. Say we had f of x equals ln of x minus 3. So whenever you see ln, the base is e. Okay, this is base e. And so just like all the other logs, it pretty much looks the same. It has a vertical asymptote and it passes through one right here and it looks like that. So in this case this is ln x. This one here is ln x minus 3. So whenever you subtract a number from the 3 it's backwards. It's right 3. Right? If it was this, if it was x plus 3 like this, it would be left 3. If it was ln x plus 3, it would be up 3. And if it was ln x minus 3, it would be down 3. But when it's in parentheses like this, it's being added and subtracted to the x, so it's backwards. So in this case, it's right 3. So you would take your, your graph, and you shift it to the right by 3. So your vertical asymptote is at 0, so it goes right 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then your graph, uh, it's at 1. It crosses at 1, so it cross at 4 now because you're going right 3. So it looks like that. And that's it. Let's do another one. So how about, how about, um, hmm, f of x equals log of x plus 2. This time the base is 10, and this time you're adding 2 to the x, so it's backwards, so it's left 2. So left 2. So I'll go ahead and just jump to the answer. So here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. And so we're taking pretty much this picture here. This is, this is also the same as log x, pretty much, the graph. And we're going left 2. So the asymptote will be at negative 2, because it always starts at 0. So if you go left 2, it goes to negative 2. If you go right 3, it goes to positive 3. And then it's always 1 over, right? This distance here is 1. So it's going to be right here, and it's going to look just like that. So generally when you're graphing logs, just always start with, with this little picture here. And you just you shift it left, right, up, or down. Hope that made sense.